Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Having healthy blood flow and circulation is one of the most important factors for a healthy body and the prevention of a heart attack or stroke. In my opinion, it's even more important than lowering cholesterol and blood pressure levels. Now, under this video, you'll get instant access to one of my favorite and easiest ways to quickly clean out your arteries and improve your blood flow and circulation. And this is all without having to change your diet or exercise. But first, let me reveal the top 10 clinically proven artery cleansing foods you should be eating every day. And I've listed these in alphabetical order. Now we first start with asparagus. Now all vegetables are great for your health, but asparagus is especially good for arterial health and improved blood flow. Asparagus boosts glutathione levels, which helps reduce inflammation and oxidation. Asparagus is also high in folic acid, which reduces hardening of your arteries. And asparagus is a natural diuretic, so it helps lower your blood pressure levels. Next, we have avocados. Now, avocados are a very interesting food. First, most people don't know that it's actually a fruit because it has a seed. Yet, the majority of the calories comes from fat. And that's why I personally categorize avocados as a fat. And it's a good, healthy, natural fat, especially for your heart. And a 1996 study done by researchers in Mexico found that people who ate avocados every day for just one week experienced an average 17% drop in total blood cholesterol levels. And what's more, their levels of the LDL bad cholesterol decreased, went down, and the good HDL cholesterol increased and went up. Now, another benefit, it is also reduces blood sugar spikes, which is important for healthy circulation, and also contains vitamin E, which prevents cholesterol from oxidization, and it's also high in potassium, which helps lower blood pressure levels. Now, speaking about fat, make sure you eat lots of healthy fats. Uh, coconut oil is great, despite the incorrect myth that it's bad for you because it's a saturated fat. It actually does not raise cholesterol levels, doesn't contain any cholesterol, and the lauric acid in it improves blood coagulation and is a potent antioxidant uh, in your bloodstream. Now, eating raw organic seeds are great, such as flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and similar seeds. And lastly, macadamia nut oil is great. Most people haven't heard about this, and this is because it's high in monounsaturated fats, even more so than extra virgin olive oil. And it's far more stable than olive oil, and another benefit is that you can actually cook with it. So that's another uh, important fact. Then we have garlic. Now, garlic has many health benefits, but as far as an artery cleansing benefit, researchers have found that regular intake of garlic may help prevent hardening of the aorta, which is the main artery uh, of the body, su uh, supplying oxygen and blood to the circulatory system. Now, garlic is great because it helps reduce that bad LDL cholesterol. Now, you want to eat between two to four cloves of raw garlic each day to get the benefits. But keep in mind that cooking destroys many of the health benefits. Unfortunately, your body will smell eating all this raw garlic, your mouth, your skin, your hair, your sweat, all of it. And garlic supplements will have that same smelly, you know, side effect. And the odorless garlic supplements just don't work. So this is why garlic is not one of my favorite foods, but it does have many clinically proven health benefits. Next, we have ginger. Now, ginger is amazing because it's a powerful anti-inflammatory similar to turmeric. Ginger is also a great alternative and substitute for aspirin without any of the negative side effects. And that's just the beginning. Ginger also helps uh, fight against atherosclerosis, which is the hardening of your arteries. It inhibits abnormal platelet aggregation, which is a part of the blood that clumps together and causes blood clotting. You don't want that. And ginger can also increase contractile strength of the heart, making your heart stronger. You can put ginger in tea and soup with fish and any healthy shake. Uh, next, we have nuts. Now, nuts, again, are fats and they have a lot of health benefits, especially almonds and walnuts. Now, they consist of healthy polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats, which help improve your cholesterol levels. Now, almonds also have magnesium, which helps relax your arteries, which is a great benefit. And walnuts are high in omega-3 fats, just like fish. Nuts also have carnitine, which plays an important role in brain and heart function. One thing to know is do not roast your nuts because it changes the structure of the fat. So eat them raw. Uh, next, we have pomegranate, one of my favorite fruits. Uh, fruits, pomegranate are high in antioxidants, such as vitamin C and polyphenols, which is found in wine. It also stimulates nitric oxide levels, 
which helps open your arteries and improves blood flow. But don't drink pomegranate juice because of the spike in insulin and blood sugar levels. It's better to eat the fruit uh, or at least take pomegranate extract. Then one of my favorite proteins is salmon. Salmon is one of the best fish you can eat for overall health, especially for your heart and arteries. And this is because salmon is high in omega fish oils, uh, DHE, DHA, and EPA. It helps increase your good HDL cholesterol while decreasing inflammation, which is a key for improved blood flow. Just make sure your salmon is wild caught and not farm raised. Best to um, have it baked or grilled and not fried. Next, we have one of my favorite spices, which is turmeric. Now, the spice turmeric is a powerful anti-inflammatory agent, which can help uh, arteries free from any kind of blockage. It contains curcumin, which lowers inflammation, which is a major cause of um, hardening of your arteries. Now, according to a 2009 study by French researchers, curcumin helps reduce fatty deposits in your arteries by almost 26%, which is a lot. It also contains vitamin B6, which is important for maintaining optimal homocysteine levels, which in excess causes plaque buildup and uh, in the blood vessels and causes damage. And finally, turmeric helps reduce cholesterol oxidization and lowers that bad LDL cholesterol. And finally, one of my favorite fruits, which is watermelon. Now, melons are very healthy in general, but watermelon is extra healthy for your heart. In a 2011 study by the University of Kentucky, researchers found that watermelon helps reduce atherosclerosis, which is buildup of plaque in your arteries. In addition, it contains an amino acid, L-citronine, found in the watermelon, which helps lower your blood pressure. It also helps widen the blood vessels by stimulating nitric oxide production. Moreover, watermelon helps modify blood uh, lipids and lowers the belly fat accumulation, which in turn reduces your risk associated with coronary uh, artery plaque accumulation and heart disease. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful and gave you just more clarity about this topic. If you like more information about this topic or similar topics, please subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, because I'll be making more highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can look and feel young. And if you'd like to discover how I dramatically improved my own dad's blood flow and circulation, um, improving all, all those other benefits in just less than 30 days without the use of harmful prescription drugs or following a restrictive diet, please visit the link in the description area below for additional information and helpful tips. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.